sub chickens. Hello. Um, here I am again on another Saturday night um, to play The Legend of Zelda. I'll start by apologizing because um, I said that I would be um, I said that I would be uh, going ahead and uh, either doing the uh, Five Heart Challenge or the uh, Dance Pad Run again this week, and as you can see, I'm not doing either one of those. I am just going to run the first quest again, and um, this is for a uh, several reasons, actually. Number one is I'm not ready for either of those two things, and I'll tell you why. I've been practicing the five-part challenge, and I think I've got a pretty good handle on it, except the fight against Ganon at the end. I'm hapless. I can't do it. If I can't finish it, there's no point. So, um, that's why I'm not running that today. Uh, I'll explain why later. And, uh, dance pad run, I just haven't had made the time to practice combat. And maybe what I'll do is I will practice combat on stream next week. I think that's a good goal to have. Um, but then the other reason is I think there is still room for improvement on my first quest speed run. Um, and, you know, last, last week it didn't work out because, number one, messed up in level 5, and number 2, I <laughs> messed up terribly at the end when I did not keep track of my bombs, did not get lucky enough to get a bomb drop, and then ran out of bombs where I needed them. So, that was stupid. I will do my best not to let that happen again this week. So, um... I will once again introduce you to my controller, which is the Game Gear Micro. No, no, actually, it is it is this. But I'm going to put them side by side just so you can see how tiny the Game Gear Micro really is. It's really tiny. It's almost impossible to play on. So it makes it more of a novelty than anything else, really. Um, but uh, it's a it's a funny little novelty. So, let's uh, go ahead and get the hand cam ready, and uh, reset on stream, because that's what we need to do if we want it to be official, and I will begin. So yeah, the fight against Ganon with five hearts is just... It's really rough. Mostly because there is very little room for error, and um, in my case, I'm just not sure how to do it correctly. I have not actually taken the time to learn how to correctly fight Ganon, period. I've seen other people, you know, little videos here and there. I, they basically get into a situation where. Um, they can just hit him over and over again. And I do not know how to set that up. Once I do, I shouldn't have any trouble beating him. Hey, I got the bomb drop on the first try. Ow. Almost a perfect run so far. But then again, it's only been a minute and five seconds, so... Yes, thank you for your help. My wife is dancing at me, trying to distract me, and it's working. <sighs> but I love my wife. Wow, that room was crowded. standing there, can they? Ugh, 
was really hoping for the bomb drop there. Too bad. Oh, wow. So, we were doing crafts with my daughter earlier, and she made a snake hat. A, a, a Medusa hat, that's right. She made a Medusa hat, and it has snakes that bounce up and down when you move, and it's pretty funny, and she is distracting me with that right now, and giggling maniacally. Thank you. Thank you for your contribution to this stream. On the plus side, I somehow managed to have completed level 2 by about the 245 mark, which is decent. <laughs> She's hanging her head in shame like she failed in something. Hey, thanks for the boost, jerk. Alright, let's uh, try to be quick about this. Hey, that worked out pretty... I wonder what it is that causes the clouds to just hang on screen for a while like that. Whatever it is, I hate it. Not close enough. That's close enough. Me, I'm, I'm Link. So. <clears throat> so yeah, I was practicing the Five Heart Challenge on my game watch uh, the last couple of days, and I'm stuck uh, in level nine. I'm just basically getting to the fight with Ganon over and over again and die doesn't make for a very entertaining stream, so that is why I'm not playing that today. Hmm. Not my fault you blundered into my explosion. Now, if my feeble memory serves me right... I was like, let's try to get the white sword within five minutes. I'm a little closer now, but still not quite there. Go back and return so that I get a better spawn. There we go. Looks like it'll be about five minutes and ten seconds. Five, ten, exactly. All right, well, um, we'll continue trying to improve. So now it's off to level one. But yes, um, what definitely isn't helping me is number one, having to be Ganon with the White Sword in the Five Heart Challenge. So having to hit him eight times rather than just four. And of course, you know, only having five hearts is not so easy. We immediately leave and re-enter to unlock that door automagically. One of the few glitches I'm actually very reliably good at using. Thank you once again, Mr. Stalfus, for spawning with the key right near the door. I appreciate that. Clear the room as quickly as we can. Ah, come back here! Ah. I'm a little sad I didn't get that five room. Was already taking way too long. Love how that gel just kind of like kissed me and ran away. Annoying. I was 
hoping to get them both. But a bomb drop is nice. Normally I would try to practice my block clip glitch there, but more reliable to do that. thought he would blunder into my path there. <sighs> and this way, into that way, into the middle, and... It helps to enter every room with kind of a sense of urgency, like, need to move, need to go there right now, and that was a lucky bomb right there. real quick. Ah! That was like the worst. Well, we've already failed the five heart challenge. It's good that we're not playing that at all. <laughs> it's really hard to avoid picking up that heart container. I think there's some sort of trick where you're supposed to, like lead Aquamentus into the middle of the room somehow. I'm definitely no expert at that, though. I'm trying my best not to concern myself with, like, picking up money or, you know, getting distracted by other stuff. using it for like 35 or so years, I would have mastered the D-pad by now. Ugh! Totally forgot to stop by the store. Yes, I heard you. I already have enough money for the blue ring. Counting the hundred that I will be picking up. So, I don't even have to pick up any more money. We just want to go straight to level 3. I probably lost a good 10 seconds or so. Running past the shop and having to go back. Nonetheless, I'm here before the 10 minute mark. Grab key, ignore slimes. Goodbye. Wow. That was like an expert move that I just totally did not consciously do. <laughs> Quickly get the key. And then we leave. Now, let's see if we can speed this up with a couple of... Yeah, there it is. Wow, that's going to help my cause. You like that all three of those fairies came out? It uh, has to do with the fact that it was the 16th enemy killed in sequence without getting hit, and all three of those Dark Nuts got whacked on the same frame. And that is exactly what happens. Alright, I've got a good amount of health, I've got a decent amount of bombs, let's do this. Let's see if we can get the magical... Uh, Not this time. Oh, well, okay. Two. That's pretty decent. Not gonna complain too much about that. That overall was a really good level three, I think. Alright, let's burn a tree, buy a ring, and mosey to level four. I don't 
particularly need the bomb drops, so I'm not going to try. Hurry, hurry. That's the name of the game, ain't it? Oh, no it isn't. It's The Legend of Zelda. How could I forget such a critical fact? Heh, <laughs> I like that. Got them both. Out, out! Quickly to the bridge! I think I'm talking about Star Trek or something. Ah. Hey, cool, I can still throw my sword. <laughs> Level four. It wasn't exactly what I was hoping for, but... Nor was that. Ugh. Guess I gotta work on that. kill those slimes to, you know, try to get a little health back, but I am trying to speed things up. Yes, I would like a heart, please. Oh, I will take that. That's gonna speed things up. Got lucky there. I will take any lucky breaks you will give me. <laughs> Even that helped. Sorta. I defeated all of them with bombs, so none of them will respawn. Convenient. And that bomb drop was convenient too. That was almost perfect. Ignore you all. I don't have time to play. Not like this is a video game. The other thing that I, you know, makes me want to uh, defeat them with bombs is. They're not going to drop anything if I don't. Okay, this Gliok has two heads. But not for long. time thingamabobbers that lets me keep track of what my personal best is at various times, because uh, I really think I'm doing pretty well. Let's see if we can get a bomb drop on the way to where we're going. Okay, let's go to the beach. <laughs> that's convenient. Alright, we'll 
grab this heart container real quick like. Oh, switch to the candle. Burn this here tree for a hundred rupees. Quick, quick, quick. Once again, that D-pad giving me trouble. Self-inflicted wounds. Run across the top here and the red things do not come out of the ground. Hoping for a bomb drop. Not yet. <laughs> had to wait for that to appear. If I had run over that, I would have been very sad. This is how we get our medicine for later. Okay, now, go straight to level 5. Without any further ado... seconds, so that's something. right for two frames as opposed to one. Ultimately, though, I still got out of that room quicker than I would have had I not used the glitch. Ah! Already lost the ability to throw my sword. That was a good hit. Man, this one is just reading everything. Did not survive. Ha ha ha. Jeez. Eh, could have been worse, could have been better. I probably should have used more bombs than I did. It's not like I'm gonna run out. There's a mummy waiting with four of them on my way back. Just need to switch to boomerang. It won't work on the dark nuts getting out of the room, but it will work on that mummy. Thanks a lot.
way last time. <laughs> Is it a waste of time? It initially seems like it, but... I needed to have 60 rupees when I came out of here. And, well, now I do. a given. Uh, whoops. I totally am not thinking what level did I just send myself to. The very same one. Um, level 2. Level 3. That's where we want to go. I wasted a little time. We'll be wasting no more. Almost went the wrong way. Oh, actually, no. I need to go to the store, and that would have been fine. Oh, well, whatever. Back to the ring shop. That long pause seems to be happening pretty much every time I go into a shop now. I like that. All my items are four, five, six. All right, we're in. Level seven at the 25 minute mark. We'll need our bombs for this one. Hopefully I get a few lucky drops. Pardon me. Ugh. That's annoying. Just trying not to get hit by the bubbles. Okay. That could have been worse, could have been better once again. That thing blocked the door. That was annoying. Ah, you missed me. <clears throat> we fill the stomach. I'll just switch back to the bombs now. We're about to need a few of them. I... Get out of my way! <laughs> was really annoying. Ugh. Kinda know where to go there. Excuse me. Pardon me. Yes. Alright, I messed up, so let's leave and come back. Thanks, dude, who taught me that trick. <laughs> quicker to do that than to have to, uh... Uh, 
to kill the, um, all the Gorias in that one room. That was handy. Thanks for that boost, Bubble. for that one, so that's good. As much as I want to try to get a bomb drop out of them, I'm going to err on the side of... I don't know what. <laughs> I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a chance is what I'm gonna do. That I don't need a bomb drop there. In the interest of attempting to save time. Okay, grab the sword. Jump into level six and mess up some wizards. Whoops. I always forget where you wind up when you uh, enter that screen. Ah! Why do they? Oh, in the butt. Really? At least I got one of them back. Serious? Ah, uh, I was really hoping for bombs there. That was well done. Alright, time to mess up the wizard. It's kind of nice not to have to worry about that. Quickly take these clowns out. Quickly clear the room. Whistle to level two. We just whistle to level three, so we have to face left. And press B once. And there's nobody there! You missed! Quickly go and open up the labyrinth. No bomb 
drop. Not that I can hold too many more of those. Quickly switch to Kendall. Lobster change to Magnet. Okay. Bomb through. Thank you for not getting in my way. I appreciate that. Jeez. <laughs> Almost every sword strike was blocked by somebody. Don't forget the key. Excuse me, pardon me. Get out of my way! Nope. Oh. Yes, thank you. I will take that. Wow, I'm really getting messed up. That wasn't so great. That was... that was bloody. Maybe if I'm lucky, Pull's voice will drop something for me. It actually did. I got a couple of hearts there. Should be enough that I won't have to worry about Mr. Four Heads. Wow. I'm not sure I've ever defeated Gliok that quickly. <sighs> we have the Triforce assembled, and it is before the 35-minute mark. And how many bombs do I need for level 9? I'd be way more comfortable if I had more than this. So you know what? It's gonna cost me a little time. But screw this. There. Now I have enough bombs. And I didn't have to worry about a drop. as my legs can take me to level 9. We will get there. I have both medicine uses still unused. We have everything we need. And now a rock to the face. Clearly we needed that as well. Oh! Get out of my way, jerk. Another sword to the face. They are really determined to... Oh, and there's my bomb drop that I now didn't need. Thanks. We're in at 3625. We have three keys, which is more than we need. So, I do not need to waste my time on these guys. Ah. Took a lot of damage there. And of course, you know, it would have been quicker if I had gotten the block clip glitch to work. What happened there? Give me a chance. 
that's unfortunate. I better watch my health, because I'm, uh, getting hurt. That was pretty quick. Maybe if I'm lucky, my little blob friends will drop some health for me. Really wish I could have had that watch, you know, in a different room where maybe I could have used it. switch to the boomerang there. Oh, my bombs are already out. Good. Too bad I couldn't take care of any of them early. Ow. Nice! bubbles very much, so that actually went pretty well. I have the silver arrow. It's before 40 minutes. I think I have a shot at a personal best. Let's see how quickly I can clear this room here. Need to save my bombs, though. Oh, that helps. Nice. That was pretty good. Just 40 minutes. That wasn't so bad. Oh. Could have been worse. Ugh. Oh, wow. I almost got game over right there. That was actually really lucky. Took the two hearts of damage from, uh... The orange whiz robe there. Ugh, that was a close one. Yeah, let's not do that again. I was like a tenth of a second off. Maybe somebody can round up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the GG. Whew. 21 second improvements. Alright. 
that block clip glitch there, that's what did it for me. It probably would have taken me 21 seconds to clear that room if not for that. <sighs> so I think I really need to practice the block clip glitch. I lost a little time on that in level 5, and of course I lost time on it in level 8. Yeah, 9 I mean. But uh, overall, it was good. But I think I need to watch some videos in order to improve further, because I do see... Um, yeah, I was checking the leaderboards uh, recently for traditional dungeon order, and no glitches. And there are people who have done it in, like, a little over half an hour. And so if they're not using glitches, like, if they're not using the block clip glitch, they're not using screen scrolling, they're not using any of that, how can they still do it so quickly? There's gotta be an answer. And so it's back to YouTube for me. And uh, maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to harvest some of that and... Uh, apply it, and I know that some of it is going to have to do with taking fewer heart containers, not getting the blue ring. I basically am going to need to handicap myself a little more in order to um, get much faster than that, I think. Not having to go into the upper right corner to get the 100 rupees there, not having to do the beach trip. Um, these are all things that can definitely speed things up a bit. So, um, yeah, this is probably as good as we're going to do on the, uh, the any percent speed run until I switch things up a bit. I mean, I could probably do a little better, but not a lot. I'm definitely not getting under 40 minutes until I do something different. So, I'm going to continue practicing um, the Five Heart Challenge. I'm going to continue practicing the fight against Ganon specifically. I think I'm going to put a save state... Um, I'm going to put a save state right as I enter the room and just practice that. And um, see if I can reliably do it. Because that's what I'm going to need to do in order to finish the Five Heart Challenge. And it doesn't need to be done in one go. It's okay to die. The rules do not prohibit death. Um, it just means you have to go through level 9 again, which is a royal pain, but I've just been doing that for the last few days, so it can be done. Um, dance pad, I need to practice combat. I need to be able to take out a room full of blue dark nuts, otherwise there is no point in me reattempting that. Because I'm just going to flail, and it's going to look silly and not be a good use of anybody's time. Uh, so maybe I'll practice next week on stream, and uh, until then, um, I'm not streaming DDR tomorrow because I'm going to the arcade to play instead, and uh, yeah, so I guess I'm probably not going to be on Twitch again until uh, next Saturday night. And that said, um, I'm really having a great time doing uh, Zelda on Saturday nights. I will probably continue doing this for at least a few more months because there is still a lot to be done with this game. Um, but beyond that, I think next I'm probably going to go hard on Pac-Man Championship Edition DX Plus because I miss that game. And I really, really love that game. So... Yeah, maybe that's down the road, like maybe over the summer at some point. But I definitely think there's a lot more I can do with The Legend of Zelda, and so I'm going to continue playing it, and I hope you will continue to enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, this was a shorter stream than usual, but which is good because I need to get some sleep. But maybe back to normal next week. Until then, be good to each other. Stay safe, stay healthy, and, uh, yeah. Empathy. It's a good word. Live it. Love it. Love each other. Take care.